Good evening and welcome to another Bad Lego Review. Uh, this is part two of my Series 9 minifigure review, just to give you an idea of what's out there at the moment and what I've picked up over the last few days. So we'll start off with the actress, which um, it looks quite a lot like Marilyn Monroe, if you ask me. Um, but quite a good uh, minifigure. She's got the trophy, which you might recognise from the karate uh, and sumo figures. You've also got uh, a dress, which is a triangular dress, which a lot of the female characters get from previous minifigures. So this is uh, what I'll be talking about, just how you can spot these minifigures. The best thing for me for this one is the dress. If you find a dress, if you can feel for this trophy, then that will make it quite easy to spot if you can feel your uh, way through the minifigures. Next one, we have the evil space marine uh, which I think could be quite a popular figure from series 7's uh, space marine figure it's got a similar uh, armour piece as before again no visor um, so the best way to spot this one I think is by feeling for the helmet which is quite a distinct helmet and feeling for that armour. One sided face for this guy. If I can take his head off. But yeah, this armour is quite uh, easy to spot. If you can feel those two prongs at the back which could be used to attach some Lego pieces to hold some extra weapons if you, if you feel like doing that. That's probably the best way of spotting the evil space marine. Uh, next we have the knight. And again this seems to mirror a figure we had in series 7 as well which was the evil knight. Which mine's a bit dusty. Um, again a bit different. This guy has got a shield, which is probably the easiest bit to spot. So you can find a, a shield shape just by feeling through the packet with the, the grip at the back. That will help you spot it. He's also got the sword. Um, but he does have what is nor a normal or classic helmet. Look out for that. And then he's got the the feathered visor as well, which do separate. So that's how you can spot that guy. Lots of little accessories with him. And he has the, under the cheesy grin, the pop-off armor again to help you spot that. Next up, we have the judge. Uh, this guy uh, goes well with a policeman if you want to act out some scenes. But he's got a wig, which you can't really tell from pictures, but I'll just try and show you. It's slightly rubberized. That's a good way to spot if you've got the judge. He also has a cape, which is impossible to feel for. Um, but he does have a gavel, which I'll just show you there. If you can spot the gavel and feel for that, you're onto a winner. And finally, uh, these part two of my review, there is the waiter. Now, when I picked up this one, I thought I had the woodland maiden. I was feeling for the 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 the, the plate here, and I thought that was her shield. You just need to feel the back side of that. You can just see that. Because it's just like a little circular stud that his hand fits into. But he does also have the bottle of wine. So if you can feel for the bottle of wine, you've got the right one. He's quite a cool figure. A little snooty waiter. Criticising your choice of wine, maybe. So thanks for watching, um, hopefully I'll be getting the rest of these figures over the next week or so, 
come back and see what else I've got.